see my face for this one, you can just have a look at the scenery really, it's quite nice. So here I am yet again on another dirt track in the middle of nowhere, talking to myself. Um, so yeah, I thought I would give a little bit of backstory about what's, what's, um, what the fuck I'm doing with my life essentially, because I'm not living a normal one, put it that way. Um, yeah, so let's start this around about college time and I'll just keep it short and sweet up until the important shit. But essentially I dropped out of college like the last year, mainly because we weren't really learning anything, we were just being told to repeat things and like stop thinking about other stuff. Stop expanding your own ideas, just vomit words back onto a piece of paper. And that makes you a proper human being. Oh, dickheads. Uh, anyway, then I had a normal job as such for a while in a restaurant. A couple of restaurants. Didn't like it, so stopped. Uh, one thing I have done pretty much for most of my life since I was six years old is play guitar. And uh, by that point I'd started coming up with my own bits and pieces on it and shit. And uh, started street performance or busking really. And um, yeah, I quite liked it. I got to sit down and work for as long as I liked, and money literally just fell out of the sky for doing something I enjoyed. Oh, look, this is the most dramatic point in the road here. Do we go left or do we go right? Well, I'll tell you because I know we're going left. Um, anyway, I did that and then kind of got a bit bored of going round and round in circles in the same place over and over again. It was still a little bit too normal, even if I didn't have a proper job or lifestyle. So I got on a plane to France. Got off the plane in France and I had 20 euros in my pocket, no plan, no health insurance, and like no return ticket. Just to see what happened really. Slaved away for a while doing the grape picking to make wine for some French people. And um, bought a guitar, different guitar obviously, because I didn't bring one with me, left the other one in England. It's quite nice, a bit gutted. Um, what am I getting on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just went from there, really, busking in markets, moving around, doing a lot of volunteer work here and there. I mean, I uh, learned to speak Catalan, which is a language I didn't even know existed until I got to fucking Catalonia. It sounds weird to say Catalonia in an English voice. It's Catalonia, no? But, um, yeah, and then I learned to speak Spanish, both languages without, like, studies or anything, just get stuck in and learn, really. Um, yeah, I've been a goat herd twice. I've walked out of a mountain range 2,000 meters above sea level, sea level over the course of a month or so. The donkey at the beginning of winter. Yeah, that was a fucking experience. Um, nearly died quite a few times. I nearly died in a bus station in Mercia of, of not hypothermia, fucking hell, Mercia's a desert uh, of dehydration. Uh, when else have I nearly died? Oh, I fell off a bicycle and split my face open. I didn't really die. Well, I could have died actually if I'd landed even more funny. Because essentially I hit a pothole trying to go faster than a car would go down that track to cycle what would essentially be a 20 minute drive in uh, like 10 to 15 minutes on a bicycle. I paid the price for it, flew over and my head took all the, uh, the impact. I had a lot of blunt force traumas to the head, to be fair. That's probably why I go off on a tangent a lot and I don't really know what I'm fucking talking about anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Yep. Proper nice. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so I was in Spain for quite a while, moving around in Spain, doing stuff, trying not to get arrested, trying not to die. Uh, now I'm in Portugal, obviously. I mean, there it is. Can't deny it, that is Portugal. Um, yeah. Yeah, essentially, just music and travel is what I've been doing, and I don't really intend to stop. I'm not going to fucking have an office job, or a... Or a high-ranking position in a bank, earning a million pounds a second, not having a life being a drone, or work stacking shelves, not having a life being a drone, or just generally not having a life and being a drone. I mean, I mean, I've pretty much come to accept the fact I'm probably going to die quite young, and probably due to my own stupidity. But I'd rather die happy and young and satisfied than old, bored, and regretful, essentially. So. Uh, Fuck normality.